every baseball player needs a glove that they can rely on. What better way to do this than to have a part in making it and personalizing it yourself? Today, we're going to go over what materials and tools are needed to relace your glove, how to do it, and the benefits of relacing your glove. First, okay, now let's talk about what you're going to need to relace a glove. First, you're going to need three to four 72 inch strands of lace. Uh, then you're going to need your glove lace needle so that you can move through the holes and eyelets easy. And you're also going to want lace cutters, a knife, pliers, or scissors so that you can cut the laces afterwards. And then you're going to want a tape measure just in case. You can also use a brush to clean it or, or glove conditioner so that you can keep the glove in good shape and condition. And then you're also going to want your glove, of course. Now let's talk about how to do, how to relace your glove. According to BaseballMonkey.com, before you remove the older laces, it helps to take pictures of different angles of the glove so that you don't get lost in the relacing process. After that, remove the laces with your pliers or knife, being careful not to damage any of the leather. After laces are removed, I like to apply your glove conditioner to the glove and rub it on the entire glove, including the inside. Be careful not to over apply it though. I also like to rub some of it on the, the laces so that they move through the holes and eyelets easier. And then you want to restart, you want to start doing the palm area of the glove first because it's the hardest place to get into. Uh, you want to start by pushing the relacing tool through the holes and then you lace the you thread the lace through the needle and then pull the needle back through and then you want to tie it off at the end then you can choose whether you want to cut the lace or you want to keep it long it's preference based Then you want to complete the lacing around the rest of the glove using the same method. And then when you take the glove, or when you take the laces off the glove, you also take out the web. So to do the web, you have to do the web before you do the fingers. So you want to line up the web and the laces to make sure that you don't make any mistakes on that because it's probably one of the more important parts. And then you start at the bottom of the web and lace up the, towards the thumb side and then come across through the funnel and then down here through the bottom. There are also lots of different styles of web you can choose from, whether it's like an I web or an H web, or there's a lot to choose from. As you go, you'll eventually get all the way down through, and you'll end around where you where you started. And then that's how you'll finish. And the benefits of releasing your glove are to increase durability and to add your own personalization. Durability is because you are taking out the old 
worn and torn laces and replacing them with new strong laces and you get your own personalization because you can choose the color of your laces or the style of web you want. Wrapping up, we went over the materials and tools needed to relace your glove, how to do it, and the benefits of relacing your glove. I hope you are now, I hope you enjoyed learning about how to relace a glove and now know if you ever need the skill to do it. Thank you.